Now in order to get the best cooling out of my air conditioning and just to keep my motor running safely, I've got a brand new electric fan. My, my old fans were on a Tacoma specific shroud. They were by Fall or Spa, I'm not sure which one of the two, but they were flat blade fans. They were extremely loud and ultimately they failed on me. So now I'm going to go ahead and put in this new fan from Doral or maybe it's pronounced Dorali, not really sure, Dorale. Um, but either way, it's a massive 16 inch fan and it can blow 2400 CFM, which is fantastic. I'm actually gonna show you it relative to the engine in another angle so you really appreciate it. That's a fan sitting on top of my motor. Like, look how big that fan is. That's gonna keep it really cool now. I already have a relay set up from my previous fans. So getting this to run is pretty simple. I've got my uh, wiring off my old fan. Click the switch on. This is grounded and here goes nothing. Pretty strong flow. So. That's definitely going to help the AC stay nice and cool and again, keep my motor from overheating. So I'm just going to go ahead and crimp a connector onto these wires and then crimp onto here as well so I can just have a nice quick disconnect setup. So on this particular fan, air is flowing out of the side that has the contoured lip. It's not flowing from the opposite end, right? So the side that has the cable should be toward the motor. Now go ahead and assemble these onto here. Right, so go ahead and add these feet with the rubber isolators on here. Then these sort of tie wrap looking things come in through the back side and I have to have a foam pad and one of these mounting clips on the opposite side. Those rubber feet don't really attach to the fan so what I've done is I just put the fan in place and then put these two rubber feet up top. Right, and I'm pushing the fan here. I'll push the uh, little tie wrap things through there so that I can kind of get a hold up on it from the other side and I won't tighten them all the way just so that I have room to shift the fan and get the bottom ones in. Let's just very quickly prepare the little foam pads up on the little centers. They're already punched for you. But try this out. Rotated the fan um, just so I can kind of level it. <laughs> Not that it's a circular thing but still have these lower ones resting against the bottom part of the radiator. Let's see how well this works. This has to go through both the radiator and the condenser. It kind of sucks. So both of these guys 
Let's uh, go through the front and lock that in place, shall we? Thanks to the difference in heights and sizes between the condenser and the radiator and the positioning of this condenser, actually, these don't actually have to go to the condenser on the Tacoma. They'll come out above it and below it on the bottom, which is great news because then you don't have to align these things to both parts. So let's go ahead and get a foam pad through here. All the way to the end. Same thing for the other side. Right. We'll get our little lock washer. Slide it over. Remember, we're not going to lock it all the way down just yet. So we need to do the bottoms first. washer obviously just get them on there just enough uh, now they're ready to rock let's go ahead and clip off the excess once we've tightened the upper tube you'll probably notice that I didn't use the double stick tape on the upper foam pads 
bit of a mistake there, but ultimately that doesn't matter. They're just there to provide padding, right? And they're they're still doing that job. I did it correctly on the bottoms. All I really have to do now at this point is just cut these. I don't have to cut them super flush. I'll just cut them about the level of the condenser. They really won't impede anything because they're not in the way of much around here. That's that, this fan is officially mounted. All right, so I've got these rubber grommets on my wires. I'm going to go ahead and crimp these pins, which in turn go into this connector. And I'll do the same thing on the side of the fan with the male connector. And that will allow me to have a setup where I can disconnect and remove the fan if I need to without having to cut or splice anything. Excuse the washing machine sounds in the background, but just a quick tip. When you put these pins inside the connector, this little surface right here is what locks into the tab that's on the inside and keeps us from pulling back out. So before you pop this in, you want to take a tiny screwdriver and just kind of wiggle that around so that you kind of open this up a little bit. And that'll guarantee that it locks in place as opposed to pulling back out. Pop that one in. Okay. Of course, the little tab in here sometimes is kind of compressed over, so you want to stick the screwdriver in and shift it out. I might open this a little bit more. Let's try that. fan is wired up now, it's plugged in. I've only got the low speed plugged in. I'm going to leave the high speed setting separately so that I can trigger it from the air conditioning. Um, but for now, the low speed will suffice just for my normal purposes. So let me go ahead and flip the switch and just show you guys that it works. Works as intended, has plenty of flow, and definitely once I uh, get my AC connected to it, then I'll have the high speed option as well. And the way it's wired right now, if I want to, I can just plug in the other connector to the other relay and I'll be able to run at high speed, no issues. So if I don't want to trigger it via AC and just have it always run high speed, I can do that. In the future, I'll move to an actual fan controller that will do it by the temperature, and that'll be a much better setup overall. Now, there was one small but important detail that my setup was missing per the instructions that come with the fan, and that is a 30 amp fuse. As you can see, I've wired in this fuse holder, basically just crimped it into place. So I cut the existing cable and crimped these wires in, and this allows me to put this 30 amp fuse in here and that was just the final touch that was missing but now everything runs as intended and I've actually driven the truck around and got it nice and hot and then just sat around idling for like half an hour with the AC on the AC blows super cold and the truck never overheats which is exactly what you want to see if you've liked this video please feel free to like and subscribe hit the notification bell so that you're notified when I post up other videos if you have any comments or feedback on how I can improve this, feel free to post that in the comments. I will definitely be improving this using a controller in the future. And as always, thank you for watching.